Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it, it's my great honor to be invited here. Uh, and today, my topic is diagnostic workup and staging for early gastric cancer. Uh, we don't have no financial relationship to disclose related to this pr presentation. Uh, this is outlines my presentation. Uh, for the first time, uh, diagnostic work workup to detect early gastric cancer. This is an international comparison of gastric cancer survival. Uh, as you, you can see, uh, five-year overall survival uh, in Japan is more than 60%, and it's uh, much better than US or EU. Uh, this difference can be uh, explained by the different uh, timing of detection of gastric cancer. This is a survival of gastric cancer according to stage. Uh, as you know, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Overall survival of stage 1 gastric cancer is more than 90% and in particularly stage 1A, which is intermucosal cancer uh, or submucosal cancer without lymph node metastasis is almost 100%. Uh, and then early detection uh, in Japanese uh, it contribute to the better outcomes. This is a definition of early gastric cancer. Uh, gastric cancer, uh, early gastric cancer is a T1 cancer. Uh, it includes intermucosal uh, or uh, submucosal cancer. And advanced gastric cancer uh, is a uh, cancer with invasion depths of uh, T2 or beyond. Uh, this is a case of uh, advanced gastric cancer. Uh, can you find the lesion? I think it's uh, almost impossible uh, because the, uh, the surface of the stomach is covered with a um, bubble, uh, mucus, and the food residue. After careful irrigation, uh, you can find uh, uh, the Bowman type 2 cancer uh, easily. Uh, in the poor environment, you might miss even an advanced gastric cancer. And the optimization of insufflation during the procedure is also very important. Uh, if you, you insufflate too little, the lesion uh, can be hidden uh, between the gastric fold. Uh, in the, after appropriate uh, insufflation, you can find this is a, uh, the sub-centimeter intermucosa signet link cell carcinoma. Uh, you should find the, this subtle uh, finding, so optimization of insufflation uh, is very important. Uh, and standardized the protocol of the observation uh, is also very important. In Japan, we take a lot of pictures during the procedure, uh, esophagus, stomach, and the duodenum. Uh, the one series includes uh, about 32 images. Uh, to uh, make sure the uh, sequence of the taking a picture make a standardized protocol of screening during EZD. And also, uh, you should know the macroscopic features of early gastric cancer. Uh, this is a Paris classification. Uh, in this classification, early gastric cancer uh, is categorized uh, five subgroups according to the morphological findings. Uh, understanding this classification uh, late, uh, the understanding the uh, microscopic features of early gastric cancer, and it uh, leads you to uh, find more lesions. And then um, uh, also the clinical, to understand the clinical features of missed lesion uh, is also important. This is a uh, uh, data about our uh, retrospective study of uh, 1,200 ESD cases and the approximately of 20% of synchronous gastric cancer was missed at initial ESD. 
And this is a uh, features of the mist regions. Uh, the region is relatively small and uh, reveal the superficial uh, macroscopic findings. And uh, uh, it locates uh, more often in the uh, upper sides of the stomach and the posterior wall or lesser curvature. Uh, you should mind these features of mist lesions. This is a summary of uh, key to early detection for gastric cancer. Uh, to establish standardized protocol is very important. Uh, this is in, in, this includes uh, uh, the better preparation, uh, such as removing the mucus bubbling uh, and food residue, and then optimization of insufflation and the standardized observational sequence. And then uh, it is also important to know uh, features of the early gastric cancer, uh, such as morphological features and then clinical features of the mist lesions. Then we will move to the next topic, uh, the appropriate strategy for T staging of gastric cancer. Uh, this is a very famous table uh, for the indication of the uh, gastric ESD. Uh, and then uh, invasion depth is a very important uh, factor uh, for predicting the lymph node metastasis. Uh, so uh, deep SM2 means the, the deep submucosal invasion. This is a contraindication for ESD. So the, it is important to uh, differentiate mucosal and submucosal cancer, especially uh, s s submucosal, uh, deep submucosal invasive cancer. Uh, as I mentioned uh, before, uh, proportion, uh, the macroscopic findings is the first step to uh, the T staging. Uh, if the lesion will the Paris uh, superficial uh, category, type Paris type zero, uh, it means that this is a early gastric cancer. Uh, moreover, the proportion of the submucosal cancer uh, alters according to the uh, morphology. Uh, for example, the lesion with the Paris 02B or 2A lesion, the invasion depth uh, of submucosa is less than 10%. So you can uh, diagnose it is uh, intermucosal cancer if you find the uh, Paris 2A or 2B lesion. Um, and then uh, various, the protruded lesion or depressed or ulcerative lesion, then invasion depth is much higher, uh, 20 to 30 percent. So uh, we can diagnose for uh, some uh, microscopic findings according to the uh, lesion. The Intermucosal cancer, uh, at the surface, uh, su surface irregularity is an important finding for the protruded region. Uh, intermucosal cancer, the surface is smooth. And then according, uh, as the invasion depths get deeper, then surface irregularity increased. And then uh, for the depressed lesion, the nodule in the depressed depression is um, also important. If you find a nodule in the depressed area, it is a sign for submucosal invasion, like this. And then uh, submucosal tumor like marginal prominence is a sign for deep submucosal invasion. Uh, you can find, see the submucosal, then uh, obvious uh, elevation, the surrounding the uh, depressed area. This is uh, the findings for submucosal invasion. And then um, uh, lesions with co for the convergence, uh, uh, co the findings of uh, converging fold uh, is also important. Uh, and then um, uh, only converging fold, it's not findings for submucosal invasion. Uh, the enlargement or fusion of the converging fold is in sub deep submucosal invasion. And then enlargement is uh, a little bit difficult to diagnose. So uh, for the first, uh, you should remind the fusion of the uh, uh, converging fold. 
So based on these uh, findings, we established a simplified criteria for submucosal invasion. Uh, only it, it consists of only three findings, uh, irregular surface for the protruded lesion or a nodule in the depressed area. Uh, it it uh, is a su irregular surface and submucosa tumor like marginal prominence and fusion of converging fold. Only three simple findings. We analyzed the, the diagnostic accuracy of this simplified uh, diagnostic criteria. Uh, it achieved more than 70% uh, of uh, diagnostic accuracy for submucosal deep submucosal invasion. There is another uh, diagnostic accuracy, uh, endoscopic ultrasonography. Uh, EUS, uh, we can directly obtain the tomographic image, and then in submucosal cancer, uh, the narrowing of the third sonographic layer uh, is uh, the findings of sub deep submucosal invasion. And uh, also in MP cancer, uh, disruption of the sad sonographic layer with, together with the irregular force uh, thickening of force sonographic layer. But uh, when we compare the diagnostic accuracy directly between WLI and the EUS, uh, we don't find a significant difference between these two modalities. So uh, we Established the algorithm uh, for what case we, we use uh, the US. Uh, we first diagnose based on the white light imaging and uh, based on the simple uh, diagnostic criteria. If we suspect uh, submucosal invasion, uh, for these cases we perform US and then final diagnosis was made. According to the combination of both WLI and EUS, uh, there is a significant improvement and uh, with uh, about 10% of improvement uh, in each observer. Uh, to make precise diagnosis of uh, T staging, the simple diagnostic criteria of white light imaging would be useful and combination of both white light, uh, white light imaging and EUS would improve the diagnostic accuracy. So let me conclude my presentation, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, early detection and precise T staging would contribute uh, better outcomes of treatment for early gastric cancer. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you.